Comanche clan, a group of Japanese ninjas known for their unusual powers, maintained neutrality even as their country was embroiled in civil war. Fearing their strength and their defiance, the nation's chief warlord ordered every man, woman, and child be killed. However, one survived, Yoshimitsu, next in line to succeed the chief and a master swordsman. He single-handedly took on the warlord's army, dealing them a hard blow, but they eventually overwhelmed him, severing his right arm. Despite the countless pursuers sent after Yoshimitsu, he vanished without a trace. That is until one day, an agent for the warlord received word that Yoshimitsu had been sighted. It was in this vicinity, sir. He lurks around here, you say? You're sure of that? Yes, sir. He matches the description. He even had a mechanical arm. So, he escapes deep into these mountains. Finally, good tidings for our lord. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh? He did not escape. He just wished to converse with you. Tonight, a demon runs wild. What are you? Are you some kind of monster? It has been a while since I've met such lowly dogs. Is that really you, Yoshimitsu? Why do you look like that? My hate for you all has transformed me into a demon. Now it is my turn to ask questions. They are about the soul edge you seek. You will get nothing from me! Gaze upon yourself in my blade and recall what you can about Soul Edge. But know this, you cannot lie to a Manji. <laughs> Manji, my greeting. <laughs> <laughs> so it is as the rumors say, Soul Edge is indeed an invincible sword. You appear to have searched for it far and wide, but now, that task shall lie with me. And then, with that power, I shall teach you fiends the meaning of hell on earth! Sword. Look at my blade. The, the sword was a fake designed to draw out and kill my lady's competitors. Enough. My, what a black day this has turned out to be. So you are the one who spread the rumors. <laughs> Everything you know about the real Soul Edge. Uh, what is this monstrous transformation? Deal with him at once. <laughs> that is everything I know. But it is all hearsay. Make of it what you will. So the rumors multiply as one heads west? If you doubt me, use that strange power of yours. By the way, are you having money troubles? If so, I have something that might interest you. Do not be absurd. Even as a demon, I'd never strike a bargain with a scoundrel such as you. Get out of my sight.
<laughs> that looks like quite a burden, brother. How about taking a load off? This is the sacred sutra of Buddha himself. A full heart fills not one's belly. Buddha, you say? Ha! There are neither demons nor Buddhas in this world. If he's real, let's see him save your life right now! What the? Where'd you come from? <laughs> from hell! Thank you kindly for your help. Your swordsmanship and your kindness remind me of a hero from ancient tales. Such nonsense. I merely took pity on one who willingly submits himself to death. Many speak of great intentions, but few are those who act to save others. The feeling of commiseration is the beginning of humanity. You walk a noble path. You know nothing of me. The path I walk is strewn with corpses. Though you now walk a different path, your destination may remain the same. I pray your deliverance from doubt is swift. Thank you. What am I doing? None of this will help me achieve my aim. You! So, you are the one who freed our experiments. Ah, there you are. I have been waiting. Your lizard men knew nothing that could aid me, so... <laughs> Why, you? Well, we have you surrounded. Happy now? Tear the intruder to pieces! He shall make an ideal sacrifice to Pelgea. Tell me, who has Soul Edge? They call him Nightmare. The vanguard of High Priest Kumpetku is waiting for an opportunity to strike. Final question. Where is this nightmare? In Europe. Ostrein. <laughs> what have you done to me? What? My powers! I have failed! Pelgea! I offer you my body! Death shall be sweet release! My blade is clouded by the evil it has absorbed. Have I overused its power? This must be his doing. Such cruel. Wherever the Azure Knight nightmare treads, only darkness and the stench of blood remain. His relentless evil makes me sick. My determination to avenge the slaughter of my clan has not faded. But does that not make the Azure Knight and I one and the same? Is this what my clan would want? After suffering such bitter deaths, is my soul now clouded like my sword? No, I cannot allow the flame of vengeance to fade. I cannot.
The evil aura. It belongs to you, does it not? Did you come here in search of Soul Edge too? Yes. I need to avenge my clan. Young lady, if you know anything about Soul Edge, tell me. You bear a strange power. But it has no effect on me. I am protected by another, and by the gods. If it is evil you seek, I shall have no choice but to stop you. more to your sword than just anger. There is sadness and confusion. You know how to read minds, too? Even without such power, you can tell much by someone's eyes and their voice. Revenge. Is that what you truly desire? Mm. What is it to you? Can you not answer? I am speaking to your soul. Anymore. No! Cast your sword aside! Finally come to. Where am I? Oh, you. I'm in your debt. Do not reproach yourself. No. I was weak. I lost my way. Only the thought of another's death kept me going. But never did I discern what I was becoming. I must walk the path of benevolence and justice. If I protect the weak and crush evil, none shall ever again walk that wicked path I took. That is how I shall avenge my clan.
my people. Watch over me as I battle for justice. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history.